Welcome everybody, welcome, welcome. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Oh. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town, abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! I gotta say, this looks amazing. Ultra graphics. Chapter one. Colter. Director of technology, Phil Hooker. Bring him in here. Gaskell, get that fire lit, quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny. Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But 
We are gonna ride out. And we are gonna find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. Audio direct. We've got some work to do. We ain't run into them yet, so they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, Woody Jackson. I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We miss you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I. We need you strong. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. Let's go. Ah, uh, sorry about that. Right, where is this? We have to try. Stay close and we'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather! Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. here. Can't believe we lost Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days. We'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. Hey, I think I see something up the path. Whoa. How do you see it? 
You up ahead. Who's there? I can't see five feet in front. Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. Was. And Mac, Sean. We don't know. Quite a business. Oh. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Move up, Arthur. I'll cover the rear. Yep. You run into anybody else? I, I reckon we're the only ones crazy enough to be out in this, Morgan. Yeah, well, don't talk to me about crazy. Oh, so no, glad you're all right. I was worried, Micah. Look, it's all gonna work out, Morgan. We lost a few folks, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Well, I'm glad you're feeling so good about it. Where are all the others? Old mining camp. Okay, let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Okay. Let's head down there. Yeah. <coughs> I love the snowflakes in the snow. Let's hitch up here. Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. Someone's having fun in there. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Micah, hide behind that wagon. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of them. <laughs> Hello? Shut up, Billy. Shh. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the trail. Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> folks. There's a corpse right here. Now, I, I just Arthur. need... Some There's a body food in the wagon. Or I hear you. Just Gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should. Oh, buddy. Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Please, I am kind of desperate. Hey, I don't believe it. Come here, partner. Come here! 
It's goddamn Dutch Vandalin, you moron! Over there! upside down grab as many supplies as you can we need the essentials food medicine whiskey you always need whiskey you can't live without whiskey uh, looks like the poor bastard was married too at some point if we can't eat it or drink it put it down Jake and Sadie's wedding, September 7, 1896. O'Driscoll's? I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh, I'm starving. Well, you should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. Alright. Let me eat some uh, canned beans. Get some of that protein in. Place is dry. Warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. Grab anything you think we can use, then meet me out here. Gentlemen, I'll close this cabinet. What's taking so long in there? Hey, shut up. Still looking, Dutch. What's that bourbon or is 
something nearby I can get. Medicine cabinet. That just looks like a club. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. yet. Find out what they're doing here, and where Calm is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. <laughs> He'll talk. Where's Calm, O'Driscoll? Uh, with the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. Now, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Go. Because I'm a good guy. I read it. You literally jump, jump on top. Hey, hey, hey there. Whoa, whoa, easy. There, boy. Good boy. Don't be a cold boy, but I you let him go, huh? Show off a little bastard scurrying off. Yeah, figured he won't get far in this anyway. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. Tie him up over there, Arthur. Get away from me! Michael, ah! what the hell do you think you're doing? Come here! Why up the gate you? Leave her alone! I wasn't doing yeah. nothing! She's one of them O'Driscoll's! No, she ain't, Michael! Look at her! Miss! Miss! Yes. Are you... Oh, you fool! Michael! Miss! Now, it is gonna be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss! Miss! Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here, and quick! Come on, now. Oh. Are you okay, miss? They came three days ago. Then my husband, they... Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur, you say. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. 
Well, keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently, scouting the train. Thank you. And that's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Now how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. That's why you don't have a room. You're rude. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know the situation were reversed and he looked for me thank you this way last I know John was headed up the river for all we know he kept riding north and never looked back he wouldn't leave not like that uh, wouldn't be the first time Smoke. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. A few hours ago, most. Cross. See, they continue up that way. This guy's rocking. 
poncho. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. And suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Take it slow. Big ravine here. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. Continue along the cliff wall here. Tranquilo. Davey got shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Whoa. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. It's getting narrow here. This guy's rocking a poncho up. Come on, boy. Horses are getting tired. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Yeah, I need a poncho. Come on, there. Come on, there. Hey, look! Fashion. Over there! You see that? Eso. John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's see if he can hear us. Come on, up there. This is loud. Yeah, this ain't good. It's coming from up ahead somewhere. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. I'd grab that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? Come on. about this Over here! Ah! it's coming from this way okay careful here me out of that we're high up here you're telling me help me drops down here Watch yourself. Watch out here. Watch your head here. Okay from here. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up this way. Up here. Guys, over here. 
That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John! How you doing? I'm miserable. Been a tough few days. I know. Here, take a drink of that. Thanks. I'm not designed for this snow. Hey man, you can't be. Let's keep moving then. Come on, John. Can you hear me, John? That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. You all right? I don't think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. Look up there. Perfect. I'll distract him while you get to the horses. Go. Draw them off. John, we'll leave them to Arthur. Come on, then. Let's get back to the others. I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. It's just like a, a dog bite. I don't know. You knew a fella? Got bit by a dog. Died an hour later. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. Dog bite is... Coming down the hill. Get out of here. Get out of here. Look out on the right. We got more wolves on the left. Go. Get the hell out of here. Get out. How are you? You see any more, Arthur? Don't think so. Jesus. You still with us, Marston? Just about. You're gonna be okay. 
We have some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. We should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Can we get some help here? Can we get some help? We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Come on, here we go. There we go. Ah, you careful, idiotas. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. If you and Dutch talk about how we're gonna get out of this. I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I uh, suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Moggy. <sighs> We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck. But then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit, and we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, or we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. This guy don't know his cardinal we directions. We got this. We're safe. Stay strong, Jose. What about you, Arthur? You doubting me, too? Never Don't question me like that. Good. Because you know me, son. I'm just getting started. Once we get some money, well, they... They better send some good men after us, because they ain't never gonna find us. But we need money. Of course, Dutch. Thank you, son. For your strength. It means a lot to me. Good call, Dutch. It's the least we can do for the poor woman. I say Marcus should do it, but that ain't a good idea. Anyway, try not to worry. All right, then. The body's in a wagon out front of the house. I'll send someone. Thanks, Jose. Well, try to stay strong. Okay, out there. Molly. Molly. Doesn't feel much warmer this morning. How are you doing? Cold, but I'll live. That's the spirit. Okay, Arthur. Okay, she doesn't want to be bothered. What a bitch.
Okay. You got any miracles for us, Reverend? You're safe now. I wish I did. Yep. We need something. Okay, well, try to stay warm. Yes. Yes. Okay, Mr. Strauss. I think so. Well done for finding Mr. Marston. Some good news at least. Yep. Well, just hang in there. Yes, I suppose. Keep moving, and we keep together. Same as always. All the Marston. Ain't that so, Morning, Mr. Arthur. Morgan? Of course. How are you holding up? I'm all right. That's it. Try to stay positive. Good enough. Yeah, man. Stay positive. We gotta fight through this injury. Good morning. Here we are. Another day. How are you feeling? Stuck in a blizzard. My boy's starving. How do you think? We'll be okay. Just get us off this damn mountain. We will. He morning. That is so morning. That he hath How are you no doing? Oblation. I ain't dead or frozen. Damn, I'm done. getting there. Good. Yeah. Just want to get out of here. Grave an image that shall not be moved. Have Hi, you not known? Have Morning. you not heard? Hath it not been told to you from the beginning? Have ye not understood from the foundations of the earth? How are you feeling? I live, I suppose. Is it he that sitteth upon the That's circle spirit. of the All right, earth, then. and the inhabitants thereof hey, Jack. are as grasshoppers? It's too cold in the morning. That stretcheth out the heavens yes, yes. as a curtain. How are you doing? And spreadeth okay. them out as a tent Good. to dwell in. Okay. That bringeth the princes to nothing. Honestly, he maketh children. the judges You've done the, the best you can with this place, Miss Grimshaw. Yay. It could be worse, given the circumstances. They no doubt. Planted. Yay, they shall not well, be try strong. to stay strong. Yay, uh -huh, their stock shall not take root in the earth, and he shall also blow on them, and they shall wither, what? and the whirlwind shall take them away. How are you holding up? Double. Not good. We'll find a way Who off here soon. Do ye like in me? <laughs> Whatever. Or shall I be equal, saith the Holy One? You okay, Mary Beth? Just thinking of Jenny, Mac, Davy, Sean, and wondering who's next. We'll pull through. At least we got John back now. Okay, well, try to stay warm. Stay warm. Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speaketh, O Israel? My way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from God. Hast thou not known? Hast thou not heard? Yeah, is this? You're the one with the death wish. I am doing everything I can to keep these people alive. Pinkertons. Lots of them, and bounty hunters too, more than ever before. And all after us? We were set up in Blackwater, and none of them dumb enough to take that pass in winter or think us fool enough to do it neither. We got a few weeks. By the time they find out where we are, we'll be gone. Where to? I ain't got that yet. <laughs> but this ain't done. <laughs> Not no way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay there, Dutch. Thank you. Thank you for bringing John back. Finally, some relief. He's beat up, but he'll be all right, I hope. Anyway, try not to work. Thank you, Arthur. Hey. Morning, Arthur. <coughs> How are you feeling? Look at us. What kind of question is that? Gonna be all right. Okay, Arthur. We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. 
we have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pierce. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough nothing. of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need some neat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is a rest? Come along. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. I imagine. All right, let's head out. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay, apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Yeah! Always got to get the high ground. Be Been a wild few about. days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <sighs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Some patches of grass here. This is good. Let's look down this way. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. Stop here a second. I see something. <sighs> Has deer been here and recently? How can you tell? How can you not? We'll track them on foot. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. 
A gun will scare everything around. Quiet as you can. Stay low and move slowly. Low and slow. You see the tracks? I think so. Maybe not. Focus. Running. You're making too much noise. Shut up. Don't you know I already know that? I didn't know that. Shh. Down there. You see him? Quick. Get that bow out, Arthur. Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick and clean. Oh. Get good tension on the string before releasing. Just don't overdo it. Take the shot. Good shot. Now let's try for another. Put a headshot right at him. I see cold feet. This is not fun. That's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hand's okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. the name of my horse. <laughs> Pretty good. Okay, boy. back when you are. Come on, then. Let's head back. <laughs> nice work, Arthur. Uh. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're 
You're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what that? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Wonder how much my price. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good though we caught more than one. A lot of mouths to feed. And that girl from the ranch now, too. But not sure she'll be eating much. She has a wild look in her eye. You would, too. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. Huh. So what do we do with her? Once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. So it was O'Driscoll's you ran into there? Yeah. <laughs> Last thing we was expecting. What is it with the O'Driscoll's? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang, nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Comb, and Dutch go way back, and not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Yeah. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. He must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Cut up here, off the trail. Ah. Whoa, boy, easy. All right, boy. We ain't ever talked that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. Uh, careful. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh yes, Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. Taught me to read. John, too. Taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. Yeah. Hold. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. 
It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Buck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Brought some food back, <laughs> boys! Get these over to Pearson. Oh, yeah. Thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. That's well, bad. well, well! <sighs> Just drop it down in here. <gasps> what a surprise! Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Ah, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. We'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? <coughs> Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one that you dumped on the floor there. Told me to dump it on the floor. Oh man, this is gonna get grabbed. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah, well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> my other mission went. Uh, that's not it. Story. Chat the one. I didn't do any of their secondary objectives. All right, I'll be right back.
All right. No one I should get out of. get a little stream deck maybe in the near future uh, I'll use my phone stay alert there Javier hey how are you holding up not too bad considering that's the spirit okay brother Boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lam, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> <What a party. laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop <laughs> it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como O'Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now, you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson. Would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah! Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay. Let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this score they're planning. Right out. Let's go, boys. What's that? Tracks. Horses, quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Whoa. <coughs> 
Hold up here! Whoa! All right, gentlemen. This is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, ready. Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. There they are. Uh, that's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. All right. Let's go pay our old friends a visit. mission with just arrows. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You boys be ready to pick them off from up there. You got it, Dutch. Good. Come on, let's go. Seems easiest to take the same path down as Bill and Micah. Like you said, Revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including Comb, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on. Watch out. It's a bit steep. It's like six of us versus 50 of them. Somebody better find him that tobacco. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. Follow me. Let's head for that building in front.
Stay low. Come on, follow me. Get in cover, Arthur. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. Okay, fine. You make the move. All right, on me. Good luck. Kill every last one of these bastards! They're under that walkway there! Oh, I'm gonna get to you next! I'm good at it. Keep pushing forward! to make a fortune, you know.
bitters. Some bitter herbs. A silver weed ring. Wedding ring. Arthur, get over here! Shut up. to mess around. We're waiting on you, Arthur. Platinum even a thing back then? Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. This guy's chewing tobacco. Whole bottle of Kentucky bourbon. Very nice. Another bottle of Kentucky bourbon. A cigar. Hey. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. <laughs> Smells good. Come on. I mean, C4 does smell good. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right, let's get out of here. Proud of you boys, all of you. Not a man oh. down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like, but we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. 
Well, you didn't get combed, but this head'll hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. Hey, you see that fella? Wasn't he at the camp with call? Leave him to me. All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. He could be useful. Okay, you got it. Yeah! Yeah, come on. Oh, no, you don't. Just let me go, come on! First I'm gonna loot you. This is, uh, very kind oh, of you. God, no! Please don't! Can I pick up this hat? What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Real bad day. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! I'm no use to you. Come on, mister. P -p Please. You better shut your mouth, you little shit, or I will shut it for you. I don't know nothing real about him. Honest. Just could let me go, please. Come on, just name your price. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay. Okay. That's two bones right there. <laughs> Sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Huh. You found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. You want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. 
We get them hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Been a bad few weeks, but Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. Then you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. Want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. <clears throat> He's seen me now. What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on! What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly, we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Everyone ready? All right. Let's head out! Hey! Yeah. Okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. Ah, how's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after, Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride!
some snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast, now it's thawing, before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming Whoa. with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back. And that's the end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down, see how he's getting on? Okay. Easy. Let me take my, my weapons. How you getting on? Yeah. Whoops. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Good. All right. That should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. It comes up. About time. I have to say, I'm rather looking forward to it. Just be ready to move quick. And remember the plan. All of you, no mistake. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here. Any minute now. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Gotta be kidding. 
kidding me? Where did you find that moron? You said it was fine. Was my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? Uh -huh. Oh shit, we're gonna jump on a train. Come on, boys. Here we go! Here we go! Now stop yelling! Arthur, help me! Yeah, you're okay. Now, let's go slow this thing down. Where's Javier? He fell! The others will get him. You and me, big man. <sighs> well, come on, we need to stop this train. There's another guard up ahead. You want me to take him? You cover me. Okay.
see now why the O'Driscolls brought so many boys up here for this. Arthur, get over here. Yeah, yeah, I gotta heal up. <coughs> Platinum buckle. What are you doing? Get over here! Calm your horses, calm your horses. I know there's big money in that train, but... We don't have time to play games! We're not playing games. Just... Wait a second, right? You two all right? You were saying before you rode off on me? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. enough! Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. I will do that as soon as I'm done with you. Whoop. <laughs> My phone went down. Stupid after an alert. All right. Eighteen cents. That is kind of big money. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Here we go. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. All right, come on. Just walk on out here. <laughs> we don't want to kill you. My, oh we didn't my. want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> Stop pushing me. I'm your own guy, man. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. 
You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's keen. I'll give you that. Fine brandy. Okay, let's see if we can get this open. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Take the cigar. Ah. There. That letter. See? That's how it's done. Shit. Just a pile of papers. Bond? I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. <sighs> Give me those. Railroad contracts, invoices, blah, blah, blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies? A lot of sugar? Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe? <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. No, this looks like something. Have you checked all the drawers and cabinets? Yeah. I think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> what did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah. Get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Yeah. Okay, get on the train, quick, all of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three of you. So behave. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. Go on. If I hear so much as a footstep from this car, you'll end up like all your friends out here. Search. Wait, something. No. Oh. Has to be a cigar. I'll take that potent bitters. Anything else to loot? Oh, search drawer. Can't take more Kentucky bourbon. I'm gonna have to get drunk right now. Where is the Kentucky bourbon? Let's get drunk. Candy. No, there's nothing in there. Oh.
train. <coughs> choo choo. For Lord's sake, put that book away and go hell. Oh, Mary Beth. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. Ah. <laughs> Nearly there. There. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you.
Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Yep. Why are you going so slow? So? Yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stole them clean away from them, it was. Every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't, in spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just cause it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yeah. yeah. So, what happened to your track? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but... When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Yeah. You got time. Are we still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, but what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but. We kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... Well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. I acquired some herb, brother, yarrow, and ginseng. Now all of a sudden, the horse is going to move real fast. There you are, brother. Head in there. Follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. I'm 
come on out here. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. Went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. You were wrong, Jose. This place is we perfect. Are. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were on to something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from a dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now, the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur? Jose? Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. 
And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, nothing. We're free. We're free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. All right, let me shave. Don't bother me. Morgan. Is that Mama Morgan? Is that my sweetheart? The love of my life? What's this? Uh... <coughs> First bank robbery, new scrap. April 15th, 1887, the brazen bank robbery. Three men I'm saw it. Major T.J. Belford has been a cashier at the banking house of Lee and Hoyt for a number of years. But nothing prepared him for what transpired last week. It was about two o'clock. Three men, sh three men, strangers to me, come through the door and walk up to the counter. One of them, the eldest Smell of three, delightful, Mr. was Pearson. a firing talker, engaged me in conversation. Suddenly, the largest, a big, sullen, white young man—I was about to say white man—brandished the firearm and held it to my face. Throw up your hands, the third one said who appeared to the, be the boss. The other two repeated the order with an oath, and the leader said, my fine patriotic friends and I are going to relieve you of the gold and introduce a few folks to the benefits of civilization. They came to the counter and grabbed some stacks which contained $5,000 in gold. Oh my God. They demanded to know where the rest of the money was, and I pointed out three sacks containing silver, but it was too bulky for them. They retreated one warm, again sounding an alarm. I was never so terrified in my life, Mr. Belfort told reporters. The robbers are reported to have lingered in town, and there are unproven claims that the men traveled to havers, havers? and shanties even a home for an orphan and gave a handful of ill-gotten gains to the poor. Wow. How nice of these guys. Um, I don't got any clothes that I can change into. We're back, Miss Grimshaw. Leonard. Oh, there. <laughs> the rebel. The 
Have yes, any sir. luck out there? Sure. Oh. bits and pieces. Uh, I'm gonna put the. Arthur never said he'd been right. Winter in my No, not often. I'm definitely also, gonna do the couple of more on Fred Lynch. So I ran away. Came back. Robbed them. Fred <laughs> Locker. How about you? A few bits and pieces. Nothing that bad. Right? That's not yet. So So I have to upgrade that to get some more ammo. And I believe there's also fast travel. That's done via the ledger. That's the reason why donating was a important factor. You give it to the camp. I don't think I'm going to donate any money though. Alright, that's good. Uh, do I have access to the ledger? I don't think I do. Not yet. Gotta upgrade. Glad to be off that mountain, Mr. Pearson. Yes, indeed. Lots to do now. Yeah, for all of us. Oh, don't you have any warmer clothes, Mr. Morgan? <laughs> How is that food coming along, Mr. Pearson? Just hold your horses. holding down the back button was gonna pull up my map but all right so who's this uncle has a mission he's gonna go into town and it's a reverend swanson mission javier's mission i think that's it for now Joystick is very sensible. I can uh Good morning, Arthur. Don't really feel like we are hidden. This is as hidden as we're gonna get. Unless you want to live in a cave. I suppose you're right. Yeah, I suppose so. You okay, Abigail? Settling in. 
Good. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Sure. All right. You're Arthur, right? My name ain't no concern of yours. I'm hungry. I don't give a damn. Look, you seem like a decent feller behind it all. Then you ain't a good judge of character. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll leave it there then. I remember those. Can anybody spare me a bike? Doing chores would like increase the. You okay there, Tilly? I'm okay. Warm at least. Could do with getting out of here for a bit. I'm sure. All right, Mayor Biff. I'm bored out of my mind. Been cooped up for days. Well, bored is better than freezing. But Grimshaw says I have to wash all this first. I think if you keep doing the chores, you would get an increase in uh, dead eye, which is. Again, I swear I'll just throw this on the fire. I'm happy to swap later if you want. I'm sure. Good work. That'll keep Pearson happy. Come on now, Pearson. Up just by doing chores. Do chores, kids. One of the chores Good morning. Is... Go and tug. Chopping up the lumber. Pearson! I'm famished! It's coming! It's coming! <laughs> to level up your dead eye. I think also like if you don't eat too much, you lose weight. But your health goes down. But if you eat too much, your health goes up, but your stamina goes down. It's like no clear middle ground. People know how to chop wood. There are more chores to be done. Another thing is you can't run inside the camp, which is horrible. You can fast They're like apples too, if you can find any. I'll try to find some. ask what's in this.
Can I lick your plate when you're done? How is that food coming along, Mr. Pearson? It'll be ready when it's ready. All right. I think that's going to end my stream for tonight. We've been going on for about two and a half hours. Completed chapter one. You will? I don't think I can do chapter two in two, one sitting. Maybe I can. Maybe if the power... We still haven't completed all the chores. Wait, what did it say? Oh, needed for the camp guards. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I can do all of chapter two in one sitting. Because last time I think I just stayed on chapter two and did a lot of the uh, side missions. That smells so good. Spent like oh, it's 50 you. hours just doing side missions and exploration. That's how in-depth this game is. All right. So, thank you for watching. Cowboy Kiki. Signing off. Come on, I'm so hungry.